As beer ages, it develops off flavors and aromas that we describe as stale, reminding tasters of wet cardboard or paper. These characteristics tend to be more noticeable in beers with lighter flavors, like Pilsners. Certain beers that have been cellared over longer periods of time can move past the phase where they're papery and gradually exhibit sherry-like characteristics. trans 2 non -anol, an aldehyde responsible for stale beer flavor, is formed by the oxidation of linoleic acid. As beer ages, this reaction is accelerated by heat and the presence of oxygen. Anything that can be done to minimize air pickup during the brewing process will assist in reducing the potential for staling. While an exception is made for the aeration of wort to support yeast health during fermentation, Every precaution should be taken to avoid aerating brewing water, mash, wort, or beer. This is achieved by mixing grist and mash water in a way that doesn't entrain air, through gentle transfers of beer, by purging hoses, pipes, and tanks of air before beer transfer, and by avoiding splashing. It's especially important to minimize air pickup during packaging, as packaged air offers the highest potential for causing staling. As high temperatures favor development of stale off flavors, brewers must take measures to encourage distributors, retailers, and consumers to store beer at cool temperatures, as well as to avoid shaking beer during transit.